off for sale is this 2005 Audi A4 convertible. It's a one owner car, 19,200 miles on it. It's the lowest mileage A4 Cabrio for sale right now anywhere. As I mentioned, one owner. The car was always serviced at the Audi dealership since new. We do have those service records on the Carfax report. No accident history, all original, no issues. The car is being sold on eBay. So I just want to do a fast walk around of the car, show you the exterior, and then we'll go inside, show you the interior, the interior features, and do a fast test drive. Okay. As you can see this car was very, very, very clean. Now the sides of the car, no scratches, no dings, nothing like that at all. The front bumper and hood have no chips. The only thing I did see was on the rear bumper, there's a few small little parking scuffs, nothing major, but a couple on the rear bumper, they might buff out. I'm gonna try to buff them out before the sale of the auction, otherwise, this is the way the car looks. And a few little scratches on the rims, you know, here and there, but I mean, nothing at all to talk about. I mean, the car's 12 years old, and for that year, it's, it's an amazing condition. Okay, this car's interior. As you can see, it's unbelievably clean. Just, uh, I drink in there. Okay. First thing I'm gonna show you is the top because it's cold outside and I wanna get this roof closed. So we'll start there first. Back roof closes. Everything locks into place. This car has the fully operational automatic convertible top. There's no latches or anything. It's all fully automated. Okay. As I mentioned, it has 19,258 miles. Car revs really nicely. There's no dashboard lights on of any type. Signals work right and left. Okay. Over here you have the cruise control. Okay, I I did test it on the highway. It did work. I didn't see any problems with anything. I resumed and excelled. Wipers work the way they should. Okay, mode. I guess over here is off of the um, this is for the clock and date settings. Check panel, checks all the uh, car's features, oil pressure and brake pr uh, pressure and all that stuff. Washer fluid, gas level, battery. Yeah, there you go, okay, no issues at all. Okay. All the car's headlights and taillights work. I tried all the fog lights and all that stuff and no issues there at all as well. Everything was good. Mirrors. Left and right, up and down. Everything works. Right. Power locks work. Power windows, same thing. No issues there at all. Okay. This is the four window button. All the windows go down. Trunk latch over here release. There's another switch over there. I'm not really sure what it does, but. Okay, seats go back and forth. Tilt everything. Okay, no problem at all with any of the uh, 
Fluency controls. Okay, original floor mats are present. Leather's in nice condition. Here's a little bit of a cleaning, but it's all here, no rips, no tears. Cup holders, hazards work, ESP on and off. Radio works, tunes, it seeks. Everything works there. I tried the cassette. I tried the C uh, player. Everything worked no problem. So there's no issues with this car as far as the uh, radio goes or anything goes really. Okay. Heat works. AC works. All the fan settings work. Circulation. We have the froster. Everything. All the displays are nice. Temp lowers and raises. I know in these cars it's common for these displays to uh, start dying out. Obviously with the miles and the use. That never happens. Heated seats work. I have them on right now and they do go on. Ashtray. Automatic transmission. Tiptronic shifting. Convertible top switch. We just showed you that. Cigarette lighter. Okay. Armrest area. No storage down there as well. Yeah. Glove box. And yeah. light comes on when you open it the way it should. I don't know, it's a little hard to close, but it closes. Door panels are clean. Rear seats are clean. No rips or tears. Convertible top liner is nice. We open the visors up, the lights come on. Dome lights work. Yeah. You have garage door openers built into the visor. They also work. Everything in this car does work, as I mentioned. There's no issues. There's no um, issues at all. Um, oh, the only thing I did see with the car, hey, we had the original Audi key as well. It's a flip key. The only thing I did see is that the key buttons aren't working. I believe it's probably just the battery. These cars have little watch batteries in them that die out and probably should be replaced. That's probably why the remote's not working. Okay. I try to do that before you buy the car. If I don't, if I get around to, if I don't, you're buying it that way, and you'll put a battery in yourself. That's the only thing I noticed with the car. That was the only issue: was the remote not not working. Okay. Okay. Starts right up. What we'll do now is put the seatbelt on, and we'll take it for a ride around the block really quick, and that will conclude our video. Put it in reverse, and you can see the car goes right in reverse. We put it in drive, and she'll go right in drive. These cars too are great because this car has the 1.8 liter turbo motor, and the good part about them is they're as a small engine, it's a 1.8 liter, so you get great gas mileage and they're reliable. But also too, because it has the turbo, when you need that power, I mean the car really takes off. It really has a lot of uh, acceleration. Okay, well that's pretty much next to my video. If you have any questions about the car, feel free to email me, give me a call anytime. I'm always open for someone coming down and test driving the vehicle and see it in person before they come and pick it up. I try my best to show everybody everything I can by putting a lot of pictures up and uh, also doing these videos. So people can see everything in the car working. 
But um, you know, it's better to come down and see it yourself. So feel free to email me, give me a call anytime. My name and number's on the eBay listing. Thanks and good luck bidding.